say, boy, I'm impressed with your principle, not with your faith, but with your principle as a man. Okay? So you have a blessed day from our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day. All right, thank you, brother. Um, it's, it's, it's free and fair for anyone to believe whatever he will. He may believe Jesus is good. I mean, that's his own, that's his own belief. Everybody's going to die, and you're going to get your reward according, accordingly. So we have, uh, who's this? What's her name? Uh, Dr. Jabril. Uh, you say Jabril. Are you Muslim? Mm, no, sir. Well, you, your name sounds like a Muslim name. Yes, I know. You can blame my dad, Jabril, for that. Hey, I got a couple questions. Actually, one question, okay? According to the topic, right? Uh, Islam is the only message. Well, it's a, it's, I guess it's not dealing with the topic, but... Okay, so Islam is the only message brought to by all prophets, including Jesus. Okay. How would you prove that? From a historical stand, standpoint, where can we find the religion of Islam before Islam was created? Uh, do you understand what Islam, what the meaning of Islam is? Yeah, the word of Islam is a word that was invented in the late 8th century. It's been redacted to go backwards. So that means uh, it's what? a term that is being applied to people of the past who didn't know anything about Islam. So what's the meaning of Christianity? No, Christianity just means a follower of Christ. I mean, everybody knows that, so um, I, I'm not sure what your point, but... I'm coming. Who translated to be follower of Christ? Who translated? Well, Christ means the Messiah. Anyone who follows the Messiah Christ is said to be a Christ follower. Okay, so that means... Okay, but, but uh, again, own... nobody is applying Christianity and saying that everybody uh, beyond uh, Jesus was Christian, because we know there were no Christians. Okay, that means but you're that saying that Jesus. Islam is the only message brought by all the prophets. But what was Prophet Moses? Uh, the Prophet Moses, or I, I guess in your book, you, uh, Prophet Musa. Are you telling me that there was no Christian in the time of Jesus, right? Well, the Christians came afterwards. That's what okay. it means, follower that of means Christ. Christian. So, and the, the Christian. early Christians would have been Jews. But I'm more interested in your Islam. So, sir, please. Stop diverting over to Christianity. Okay. The Christianity is not the topic of your your little meme on top. It says Islam is the only message accept, brought accept, to by all prophets. I accepted your answer that Christianity means the follower of Christ, right? Okay. I, accept, no. I accept that, no problem. Okay. Islam means total submission to the will of God. Okay. Total submission to the will of God. So all I the agree. prophets of God they did not submit to Satan. They did not submit to anything. Okay, but let me ask you this. Me. When I'm was that word question. Islam please, please, created? Please, please, I'm answering your question. Please don't interrupt. Please, okay? You asked me a question, and I asked you a simple question. You answered me. No interrupt. I did not care. It's okay. I accept it. So I'm answering your question that what is the meaning of Islam? Where and how the prophet of God are Muslim? How are they Muslim that if they brought Islam? How did they brought Islam? I'm telling you, Islam means total submission to the will of God. And all the prophets of God submitted their wills to God, meaning that they follow the commandment of God. And that is why that what makes them Muslims. And all what Islam teaches, the same thing all the prophet did. The same way we Muslims of today are worshipping God. The same way all the prophets of God worshipped God. You understand? So that's what makes them Muslim. Okay, but I don't think you understood my question. Islam is a term that was invented in the late 8th so century. You, so you know the... You, you, know are, the, you okay. are redacting that back into... I don't know why you guys even... Okay, but wait a minute. You, I didn't interrupt you when you were talking. Why are you interrupting me? No no no, 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 no. You ask me. You cannot talk about my answer. I've answered you. Is it I accept it or you leave it? I don't talk about no, your answer. No, I, I don't accept... Let's continue. No, no, no. So, Let's so continue. Accept, no, no, no. We do you don't accept do the moon is made out of cheese? Because I believe the moon is made out of cheese. Do you accept it? We don't do dialogue that way. We dialogue with saints, okay? 
when you ask questions, when I ask you questions, you answer me. I don't care about it. I say, okay, that's fine. You ask me a question, I answer you. Then ask me another question, then I'll ask you too. Let's go. Why you want to talk okay, about my well, I'm interested in you proving that Islam is the only message brought by all prophets. Thank you. Okay, including Jesus. So I am telling you that Islam is a term that was invented by the Abbasid Caliphs in the late 8th century. Okay, Nobody now, knew Islam, Islam, therefore uh, it doesn't matter if you submit it to the one true God, because uh, Moses you. submitted to who? It wasn't Allah. Thank you. You said Islam was invented when? The term Islam, the first time that we see Islam being used, oh. is in the late 8th century, like 749, 750 oh. A.D. Okay, please, who tell you that? History. Which history? Who wrote it? Who wrote it? I don't know. Men with more knowledge than you and me. Oh, now, now forget about it, right? Ask another question. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. I'm only here to deal with your question that you can prove that. Brother, you're not all making any sense. Profit, you ask me a question I've answered you. Is you, is you having a problem of accepting the answer? You just want to talk about what you know. You don't no, even I sure don't it. accept an answer you just because you say it's an answer, sir. Yourself. That's that, that's not how dialogue works. That's not how uh, interaction works. Just because, okay, do you accept that the moon is made out of Swiss cheese? Please. Would you accept that? Are you, are you, are you, uh, maybe you guys are opportune to be born in the Western world and the English that you think you're speaking is, is the most, you know, mightiest language ever. I don't understand. Now you ask me a question. I answered you. You have the guts to be talking about my answer. Who are you to be doing that? I'm challenging your answer. So would you agree, okay. would you agree if I said the moon was made out of Swiss cheese? Yes or no? You are challenging my answer, and you cannot even give me that. Oh, you're sure of what you're saying? Yes or no of what? What are you just asking me now? I said, you expect me to just take your answer at face value. I, I can't do that. That's like you telling me that two plus two is five, and I'm supposed to accept it because you said it. So, would you accept if I believed that the moon was made out of cheese? Would you accept it, or would you challenge me? <laughs> it's left to you. So it's just up to me. So basically, we're not dealing with facts here. We're just dealing with feelings and, and what I feel like. So so for me, the moon is made out of cheese. Therefore, you agree with me that the moon is made out of cheese. So are you ready to continue or you want to be making no sense? No, I am making sense. I, I, I'm trying to see where you're coming from. You're not addressing my question. How did the prophets of the Old Testament... Okay. Uh, how is the because the prophets of the Old Testament didn't believe in Allah. The prophets of the Old Testament, their God had a name. What is the name of well, the uh, Old Testament God? The Old Testament God is uh, Yahweh. If you go to Isaiah 42, verse 8, you know Isaiah that you guys claim is about Muhammad? If you go to Isaiah 42, verse 8, it says, I am Yahweh, that is my name. Thank I you. mean, it's all, it, it's, it's all over it's the Tanakh. Thank you. Is that Yahweh, their creator, yes or no? That's Yahweh. That's the God, the Almighty Father. Yeah, he's the, he's the creator. Okay. But again, we're not diverting from the topic. See, you're, you're doing the Muslim shuffle. We're but here talking about Islam as the only message brain. brought by all use prophets. Your use your brain when you're talking. Don't Unfortunately, you I am using my brain, brain, sir. Do not make I, I, am, do not I am using my brain. Statement. I'm using all my brain cells where you're only using partial brain cells. Statement. So can we go back to your... Can we, can we go back to your claim that oh, Islam is the only message brought to all prophets who didn't know what Islam was, right? Are you 12 years old? Uh, if I was, I would still be smarter than you. So uh, how old are you? I'm old enough to be smarter than you. Then go and be smart in your father's <laughs> house then. I don't talk to idiots like this. You know even... I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Why not follow me and have assured salvation instead of following Muhammad who leads you to hell? Don't forget to follow, like, and leave a comment.